Hi, my name is Jeff Olson, author of Slide Edge. What I want to do is just take a few moments from me to you to kind of just explain the philosophy, the fundamentals of the Slide Edge. You know, it's something that came to me a long time ago. I, I was very fortunate. I was the um, founder and CEO of a TV network devoted to personal development. We produced over 937 TV shows in family and finance and health and relationships, career, all different types of things. And I got to meet with all the top educators, uh, New York Times bestsellers, the best authors that are out there. I, you know, I spent hours and lengthy time with Oprah talking about personal development, how it works. I sat with Dick Snyder, the CEO of Simon Schuster, uh, the biggest personal development company in the world, and I sat with him in his mansion in Connecticut for days talking about personal development, how it works. I, Jan Miller, the number one literary agent in personal development, spent years with her working on personal development and how it works and so I got to see it from a catbird seed you know I got to see how it works why it works and why it doesn't work and what the slide edge for me back then was I saw that there's a lot of great information but people didn't know how to apply it they didn't have the right philosophy there you know and quite too often they were being marketed to as quantum leap like do this and in 90 days all these things are going to be fixed and all of a sudden that doesn't happen and then they lose belief in the information and it wasn't the information was wrong it was the processor it was the philosophy for applying that information so that's when I wrote the slide edge and it's taken on a life of its own as you know organically without any marketing it's just taken off everywhere and we get all great reports back from people just like you and so with that what the slide edge is designed to do is get you a way of thinking because what happens every day is thousands of things come at you. You have decisions to make. And if you don't have a philosophy for making those decisions, what's good and what's bad, then almost anything gets in. What the slide edge is is like a filter. It says no, no, yes, no, no, yes. But the other thing besides what it lets in, it gives you a philosophy of doing the little things that really seem to make no difference at all in the act of doing them and do them, you know, com compounded effect, do them over and over and over to the compound effect kicks in. See, most people, they're, they're looking for the answer and they're looking for the immediate answer, but the answer, the answer is right, day in every, right there in front of you every day in every decision you make. Every decision you make matters. And it really matters the decisions you make compounded over time. A great example, just a simple example, this is in reading, but you can apply it to health, apply it to relationships, but like for example, information. We all need great information in our life to, you know, to kind of create our philosophies and our attitude about life. And how do you get that? One of the best ways is to read. And so simple as reading 10 pages of a good book a day. That's something that's easy to do. It's also something that's easy not to do. That's also something if you do it in one day, you read 10 pages of a good book in one day, are you successful that day? No, you're not. If you don't read 10 pages of a good book in one day, do you fail that day? No, you don't. They really, doing one and not doing one is pretty much the same results to you, okay? It's so subtle you don't even notice it. But follow this. What if you read 10 pages of a good book a day for 250 days a year? I'll give you 115 days off, okay? I'm a great boss. So 250 days times 10 pages, that's 2,500 pages. That's about 10 good books. That will change the way you think. That will change your philosophy. See, philosophy is what you know, how you hold it, and how it affects what you do. When you have good philosophies, that creates a positive attitude. When you have a good attitude, all of a sudden the actions that weren't working start to work because you get good actions, okay? And so, with the, you know, the slide is just is about doing those little things. It can be in diet. It can be in business. And you know, the stories we're getting back from sports teams that applied it to athletes that applied it to educators who applied it to children who have applied it to, you know, all different types of walks of life out there applied it is prove it, it works, because all of a sudden you realize the little things I do every single day matters. Here's the difference. The people, when they start, you know, they have the right philosophy and attitude, and they start down the road of actions in their life. The, one of the most important things you have to have to be successful is you have to take responsibility. It's you who have, you have to make that decision. See, what most people do is they blame, they neglect, they just don't do it. They think when I don't do those 10 pages, it doesn't matter. It does matter. What you have to do is take responsibility. And here's the other thing in life. What you'll find is that people who are successful in life, they do the things that are uncomfortable at first. Successful people do what unsuccessful people are not willing to do. They read the 10 pages or they do the certain activities that made you successful in something. But sometimes that's uncomfortable because you have to apply yourself. With the people who are not successful, who you know, make the simple error in judgments every single day, they don't do that little activity. They're comfortable because you know, it's easy to do that and everybody around them is being exactly like they are. Guess what? 
The people who later in life are comfortable are the ones who are uncomfortable early. The people later in life who are uncomfortable are the ones who try to be comfortable early. What I'm saying is the slight edge is about doing those little things that seem to make no difference at all in the act of doing them, but take the responsibility to do them and do them consistently over time and allow the compounded effect kicks in. You, what I'm trying to say to you is you can do the things necessary to be successful. What successful people is they exercise those simple disciplines. Unsuccessful people, whether it's their health, their relationships, their career, their finances, they exercise those simple air and judgments, and they think those little decisions don't matter. You know, saving a little bit of money right here doesn't matter. It does matter. Everything does matter. So what the slide edge is about, again, it's about successful people versus not being successful. You know, when I say unsuccessful, I don't like to say people are unsuccessful. I just think they haven't got to that place in time. I do know one thing. I have worked with thousands and thousands and thousands of people all over the world, and I've seen people that you would never think who could ever become successful when they got the right philosophy and started applying that information on a consistent basis, persistently, consistently over a long period of time, all of a sudden they start seeing success. The slide edge really is the way out. One of the greatest things we've gotten back is a lot of people, we've gotten re, you know, emotional relationship uh, stories back. Because you know what happens when, you're, when, when things aren't working for you and you're feeling down on life? You almost feel like it's impossible to get out. It's so big, you don't even know where to start. You know where you start? Right where you're at, doing simple little things. And what, if you just keep you know, consistent in doing that and make those simple positive decisions over time, you can work your way right out. You can do that in your health, you can do that in your finances, you can do that in that relationship. And so, what well, I'm so excited about this, this philosophy, as you go through it and you embrace it, and you, be, you know, you've read the second book now I've written on the slide edge, and, and you're in this community and you start seeing how it's working for everybody, you'll start seeing that every single day a lot of decisions come your way. Okay, there's a lot of them. You're not going to stop that. That's just part of life. What you're going to do now we start realizing there's good decisions and bad decisions. You're going to start to letting the good ones in, blocking the bad ones. But more importantly, you're going to start taking the good ones, you're going to start applying them consistently over a long period of time and allow them to have time to work. And there's a natural course in life. You plant seeds, you cultivate, and you harvest. The sad thing is marketeers out there trying to sell you things, trying to tell you plant a seed, which is buy their thing, and you'll harvest immediately. It doesn't work that way. You have to cultivate. And that's what the, you know, the, the slightest philosophy is all about, the cultivating this information. So and what I really am excited about in this community, because you know, to me, the experience of us collectively working together, you, know, you having your things you're going through, other people having the things that they're doing, and we all learn from the wisdom of each other. And we start all individually taking responsibility for our lives, but collectively coming together through all of our slightest experiences, start having success. That's what this is all about. So this is more than just a philosophy. This is, this is an experience, okay? It's, it's a way of doing life. And here's the thing that excites me so much is it proved itself on its own. It's not something we put out there and marketed. It's not something we put out there and, and you know, branded and put it out there. We just put it out there and had a life of its own and it organically has proven itself. And what that says to you is you can have success in all the different areas of life. You can just start doing these little things. And so, you know, really get, get your mind around the slide edge. Really go through the book. Be part of this community and interact with people because the slide edge is much more than just a one-time read. It is a life time experience and when you get it it empowers you because all of a sudden you realize what everyone achieve you can if you just start down the slide edge road so be a part of the experience absorb this it will make a big impact in your life but really don't just be a receiver here we don't want you just to get this information applied we want you to become a transmitter we want you to be part of our team Take, take it out to there so we can collectively make a big difference in this world. So again, the slide is philosophy, a way for you to process information, apply it on an ongoing basis so it can work for you. A great, great community to be a part of. I'm so thrilled that you're here. Let's make it work for each other.